My name is Sergeant Rick Schiff. I'm an 11 year veteran of the San Francisco Police Department. I hold the department's highest medal of honor for bravery. That used to mean a lot more to me than it does now. What I'd like to talk to you about today is my now seven year old daughter. This is an identical twin. Her sister is now dead. Her sister, when she was four years old, Kristen, developed a highly malignant brain tumor that had spread throughout her spine and her brain. The doctors told us that we had really two options, take her home, let her die, or bring her in for massive dosages of chemo and radiation simultaneously. In either event, she was going to die. They were quite certain of that, and very quickly. Uh, believing her only chance to be the standard route, we gave her the chemo and radiation. It burned her skull so bad she had second degree burns and her hair never came back. To change her diapers, we had to wear rubber gloves because her urine was so toxic and it burned her. At the end of six months, miraculously, she survived the standard treatment, although there was a high expectation she wouldn't. Um, she still had cancer. We were told, sorry, we've done everything we can. Now she's going to die, probably within a couple of months. My wife and I, choosing not to accept that, started reading. The first book I picked up, the third chapter, discussed Dr. Brzezinski. Um, as you may guess, I have some expertise in fraud. In fact, I'm quite certain there are enough attorneys in the room that I could be vordeered as an expert in fraud. And I conducted my own investigation. I have no doubt the man is not a fraud. I have no doubt that he does what he does out of earnest belief that his medicine works. And now you're in a position to judge for yourselves whether it works or not. But it's well established by the FDA that it's non-toxic. 18 months later, we took my daughter off the anti-oneoplastin. She had not died. She had no signs of tumor. She remained free for 18 months of cancer. Within a month, the cancer was widespread in her brain. We put her back on Brzezinski's. By the way, at the objections of our doctors, for some reason felt that it had failed her. We put her back on. Within nine weeks, the tumor was completely gone. She died last July of neurological necrosis. Her brain fell apart from the radiation. The autopsy showed that she was completely cancer free. Out of 52 cases of that disease ever, no one died cancer free, just Chrissy. So she didn't die of a terminal illness. She died of my inability to care for her properly and she died from bad advice. She died because there's a government institution that disseminates false information and is not looking out for the welfare of the people. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I swore an oath 11 years ago, and I think most of us in this room swore it at one time or another to uphold the Constitution. It says life right in the beginning.